Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to uh, format a piece of media. Let's say it's the beginning of the first day on the job, you just got the camera package. So I'm going to do a compact flash card first. So I'll spin this around. All right. So there's our monitor. And uh, there'll be buttons on the back here. There's three main ones. We've got the sensor button, the video button, system button and the undo and exit button okay before we uh, mount any media i'm going to make sure the camera id letter is what we want it to be so i'm going to hit the system button push down on the joystick for project and push down again for slate and there's camera id number or letter i should say and you can change it spinning the joystick to whatever letter you want to assign to the camera Usually it's A, so we'll leave it at A, and then back out of that menu. So I'm going to mount a compact flash right here. goes into this slot, carefully pushing it in because there's delicate pins in there. And then it'll uh, up here it's saying unformatted, which means that it needs to be formatted by the camera. You push the system button and navigate over to media using the joystick. Push down on the joystick. Since this is the very first piece of media that I would be using, I'm going to go all the way over to reset, move down, choose roll one and format. Since it's a card, it happens pretty quickly. Select OK by pushing the joystick in on the back of the camera and you see that it's A001 clip 001. To eject a piece of media you hit undo and while holding undo down you hit exit until you see the uh, safe to remove. At that point you can pull the card out and take it over to your download station. Okay, let's assume that uh, that card was the first piece of media for the day and we're gonna now mount the uh, hard drive and we'd want that to be roll number two. So we slide this over. This is an Element Technica mount, quick release mount. Here's the drive, we're just gonna mount it in like so. Uh, the drive takes a cable in the bottom, take the elbow, stick it in, seat it properly, and then uh, over here on the back of the camera, below this is obviously the power connector, but over here is uh, drive. So we line up the red dot and stick that in. And in a moment, the drive will mount. I'm going to push the system button and move to the left using the joystick and choose media. Push down to select media. Now if this were the first roll of the job I would go over to reset and choose a real number and then hit format. But in this case we're not going to do that. Let me back out. Okay so we hit the system button We go left to media choose down to choose it and then I'm just going to push the joystick in for format. Now this is going to take a little longer because it's the hard drive instead of the compact flash. Okay, so magazine successfully reformatted. I'm going to select OK by pushing in the joystick. And now we see that it automatically increased it. It's now A002 clip 001. Okay, so here's a typical download station. Um, got the laptop, I've got uh, the drive, I've got a compact flash card here. Here's a compact flash reader. Underneath that is a FireWire uh, 800 bus driven drive. 
over here is a uh, uninterruptible power supply. I strongly recommend you use something like that, especially if you're going to be using a drive that is not bus powered. It's got, if you look on the back here, it's got the proprietary, uh, which is an eSATA connection to the camera. It's got a FireWire 400, USB 2.0, and a FireWire 800. This little connection here is for AC power supply, which you just take a cable like this, stick it in there, and plug this into the wall. Now the drive will be bus power. It can be bus powered. But I recommend that you use uh, the AC power supply because it'll make it a more stable platform. A typical uh, uninterruptible power supply is going to have two sets of outlets. It's got, on this case, I got this side which is protected by battery, and then this side which I clear, tried to clearly mark as not being protected by battery. That means that if the uh, uninterruptible power supply is unplugged from the wall, those outlets immediately go dead. These outlets, however, will continue to receive power for as long as the battery inside this uninterruptible power supply can power them. There's an on-off switch which tends to get turned on accidentally as I put it in cases so I have this little stopgap measure to keep it from being turned on. Make sure it's on or else of course you have no protection. What happens is if you unplug it, like I just did there, and it's now unplugged, it beeps to tell us that it's lost power. It'll continue to supply power, however, to anything plugged into this side. Now for the compact flash, we're gonna use a Lexar Firewire 800 professional card reader. Stick it in here, slide it in, careful that it seats properly, and uh, it'll mount on the desktop. Should show up over here. Okay, so this is camera roll A17, and then the 521, who was shot on May 21st. Click inside there, you'll see that there's a uh, folder, A17, 521, and then RDM, Red Media. There's a digital magazine profile and digital mag dynamic profile. These two files let the uh, camera know that this is actually a magazine. If you remove these two files, the drive will appear unformatted uh, on the camera. If we click in here, we see that uh, every time the camera was started, we have a new clip. So A17 clip 1, clip 2, clip 3, clip 4. And uh, these dates will change. If you, if you spread your shooting over multiple days, uh, this will reflect whatever day the clip was generated. Now, let's look inside each of those folders. So if we go inside uh, this one, you can see that there's the uh, R3D file right there, which is the raw footage from the camera. Then there are these uh, QuickTime proxies, F, H, M, and P, which stands for full, half, medium, and proxy. Now if we just look at the these things are uh, they are just kilobytes. What they are, just they point to the R3D file uh, for decoding. Now I see I clicked on the proxy and we get a little thumbnail up here almost and it will play. Okay. Now if I open the medium size, it's going to be bigger, uh, but it's going to have more trouble playing. It'll be a little bit more stuttering. And so on and so forth. If you pick the full one, it'll be so big. Uh, there's no hope of playing it on your computer. Anyway, so uh, that's the basic contents of uh, one of these folders. What I tend to do after I've copied something is I will then take these two items and drag them to the trash and uh, when that happens, then when this gets mounted on the camera, it will appear unformatted and you can format it on the camera. That way when you mount it on the camera, it doesn't ha say there's eight clips on here and you wonder whether you actually copied it or not. But right now I'm going to leave these here because we, we still have yet to copy it. 